WWDC 2018 is right around the corner. Apple sent out official invites for the event, and it's going to be on Monday, June 4th at a start time of 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time or 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. What exactly is Apple expected to show off at the event, though? Hey, YouTube, how's it going? My name is Jonathan, and in this video, I'm going to be going over everything we know so far. So first off, one of the biggest updates that Apple's going to be showing off is obviously iOS 12. Apple typically unveils their new iOS features for the first time at WWDC, and seeing the latest mobile operating system update for iPhone and iPad makes a lot of sense. iOS 12 was rumored to be a pretty exciting update with a home screen redesign and some tweaks to some core apps like mail, camera, and photos, but unfortunately that might not be happening this year. Apple's going to be focused on stability instead. iOS 12 is going to probably be a lot less exciting due to its security and performance focus, probably because of how many iOS 11 problems there have been recently. Just in the past week, there have been rumors of this black dot bug, which you basically get when you send a certain string of emojis, and that causes the entire phone to freeze up. But needless to say, it is a lot of bad PR for Apple going into WWDC, and they'll probably be wanting to put it behind them. Rumors in the past suggested some pretty exciting updates, like a paid subscription to a premium version of Apple News, or a lot of augmented reality focus. But in reality, what we'll probably be seeing is some more minor updates. For instance, Apple will probably be improving the health app, and putting some more emphasis on parental controls, especially after the recent concerns over childhood phone addiction. I would also expect that Animojis could be showing up in more places in iOS 12, like in FaceTime or on new iPad Pro 2018, and it's possible that Apple might add some features designed to take advantage of the iPhone 10. For instance, an always-on display would be a great way to show off the OLED screen technology. Also, a redesigned camera app with the settings incorporated directly into the app would be a welcome change for all iOS users. Now, there are some features that I've been hoping that will be coming to iOS for quite a long time. For instance, since it would be really cool if there was now a split screen mode for the iPhone now that Apple's releasing bigger phones and bezel-less phones like the iPhone X. The option to run two apps side by side on the iPhone would be a really useful change. It's something that's obviously been on Android for quite a while, but I don't know for sure if Apple's going to be doing something like this. One of the reasons they may be wanting to stay away from offering split screen multitasking is the fact they may be unveiling an iPhone SE 2 this year. Apple can't force everyone to get one of their newest phones, and so it really can't hold out on upgrading the original iPhone SE forever. The Eurasian Economic Commission is that a number of new iOS 11 devices registered with it recently, and there's a strong record of products leaked by the agency launching within a couple months of registration with the agency, so WWDC would be a great place for Apple to launch something like that. I'm definitely expecting a new iPhone X2, an iPhone X2 Plus, and a cheaper LCD iPhone to launch in 2018, but they probably won't be launching until the fall, like around September, and it would be pretty unusual for Apple to launch a successor to the iPhone X so soon. That's why it is somewhat likely that Apple will unveil an iPhone SE 2 in a variety of sizes and colors at WWDC 2018, and since we've been waiting over two years to see an update of the phone, it makes sense that we might not be waiting much longer. Now, a redesigned Mac Pro is going to be launching in the very near future. Apple even made a point of reminding everyone of the Mac Pro recently when it said the following in a press release. In addition to the new iMac Pro, Apple's working on a completely redesigned next-generation Mac Pro, architected for Pro customers who knew the highest performance, highest throughput system in a modular upgradable design, as well as a new high-end Pro display. It's obviously been a really long wait, but a Mac 2018 could be coming out at WWDC. The conference has introduced updates to Apple's computer lineup in the past, and and hey, it's a really great place to show off a new powerful desktop computer to a bunch of developers. The new Mac Pro could be one of the very first computers to come installed with Apple's new custom coprocessors, so I'm definitely pretty excited. If Apple does show off a new redesigned Mac Pro, it's also possible they will be showing off that new high-end Pro display that it just mentioned. The 5K LG monitor that Apple's currently selling might be feeling a little bit dated by then, so hey, it's maybe possible that Apple will be unveiling a new 8K display, who knows. While Apple is updating its lineup for computers, new MacBooks, and an updated Mac Mini could also be coming out. The MacBooks will probably only get minor updates with upgrades to some of the internals and an increase to the maximum supported RAM, but updated MacBooks may also come with those new coprocessors expected to show up in the new Mac Pro. The new MacBook could also come with the anticipated support of iOS apps in Mac OS, and pricing is expected to be about the same as the current MacBook lineup that is Apple is selling. The Mac Mini upgrade that Apple could be preparing is also pretty interesting. Apple's brought up the Mac Mini a couple times in the last year. For instance, last fall, Phil Schiller 
Apple brought it up in an interview saying that the Mac Mini was an important product in Apple's line, and then in October there was an email sent out from Tim Cook which said, while well, it's not time to share any details, we do plan for a Mac Mini to be an important part of our product line going forward. Currently, the Mac Mini is still running on Intel Haswell processors, which are a few generations old by now, and is pretty due for an upgrade. It's as due for an upgrade as any other computer I've just mentioned. It's also possible that the Mac Mini could be getting a complete form factor redesign, but we'll have to wait for the conference for that. Overall, that's pretty much all the new hardware that Apple will probably be unveiling. There's a good chance they'll be showing off some hints as to what we may be expecting from like a new iPad Pro 2018 or Apple's new iPhones, which will be coming in the fall, but we'll have to wait for the conference for those as well. Let me know what you'd expect to see at WWW. DC 2018 in the comments section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and with that said, I will see you next time.